I'm an Air Force Airman. I am a bow hunter. I am a fisherman. I am Mark of All Trades. Hey guys, welcome back to Mark of All Trades. So today we're going to be talking about releases and the different release styles that I've used. And so hopefully this can help you guys in what you want to decide for when you're going to pick what release you want to use. So for all of my life, I've used this release. It's a caliper style release and it's definitely served me good over the years. And I think after doing some research here recently that it's just, I've kind of outgrown it a little bit. And there's different things that I want to move on to when it comes to bow hunting. One of the main problems that I had with this wrist style caliper release was that once I had it on and I was back where I needed to be, I felt like I just kept punching the trigger every time. Like I couldn't drive my elbow back. I just kept, I just kept punching the trigger and I couldn't stop. And even when I tried to, you know, let me relax, calm down and really drive with my elbow all the way through, I just felt like I just kept punching it, punching it. And I know a lot of, I know a lot of people still shoot with the caliper releases and there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel, I feel like I'm not as good as Cam Haynes when it comes to that. You know, you see him and he's just, he's squared away and he's good to shoot out to, you know, 160 yards and, you know, he's got a great grouping and, and kudos to him because he's, he's killing the game right now. But for me personally, I, I switched over to the Carter Wise Choice. And this one is a thumb style release. And it's got obviously a thumb trigger right here. And your anchor point's different on this than it would be with this. So with this style release, you're gonna make a C and that's where your anchor point's gonna be. So this C right here, you want in the corner of your jaw. So just like this and then your release is going to come up right there and then you're good to go with this thumb release it's a little bit different so you have this on the bottom down here that connects you to your D loop you're gonna pull back and once you pull back you want your knuckles to be like this so you can see right here it's almost flat on top and that that's that's what you're looking for right there and it's important that you keep your knuckles like this because right up here in the front, you're going to create a V. And this V is very important because that's going to become your new anchor point. Like we talk about with the C, the V is now the new anchor point for when you twist your, twist your hand. So you're on the D loop, you twist your hand back like that, your index finger is going to come on the bottom of your jawline, and then your middle finger is going to go on top of your jawline. So it's going to come back like that, you're going to rest in your anchor point, and down here, you see that's where my thumb is. That's where the trigger is. But you're not gonna wanna punch it. You're gonna wanna do the same thing that I was talking about before. Drive this elbow back and almost flex your back, and then that's how the shot's gonna go off. So again, you're almost pulling your elbow back to an imaginary string, and you want that surprise shot. And so for me personally, if you guys haven't seen it, you're gonna wanna check out this video, and I go over the Carter release and this definitely has helped my groupings a lot because I feel like I'm not punching the trigger and it's a little bit different having my thumb as the trigger finger instead of my index finger and I'm able to really flex my back and let the shot go off and surprise me and it doesn't sound like it but when the shot surprised I feel like it's making better shots and my groups are a lot tighter so this has definitely helped me whenever it comes to my target panic whenever I'm you know hunting an animal or even looking at the target this has been a game changer for me and again there's nothing wrong with this style of release as well it's just a matter of preference and which one you use but for me I took a leap of faith and I tried something different and you know it paid off so if you guys are suffering from target panic just give it a try it's definitely worth something different because if you just keep doing what you're always doing nothing's really gonna change. 